do give away two trucks every year, uh, one to a million miler, million miler plus uh, BCO, and one to the general BCO population. And uh, technology, we're going to see that today because you're on a special edition of the load board. We're going to show our mobile apps today. And then safety, Landstar is very proud of its safety accomplishments. We are one of the safest uh, uh, logistics companies out in North America. Very, very proud of that. And we expect the same from our BCOs. I get asked about weekly settlements all the time. We do settle weekly at Landstar. Every BCO is given a uh, paperwork deadline. And if yours is, say, Tuesday, then you'll receive settlement two days later on Thursday. I believe at uh, I believe it's uh, 1 o'clock noon or 1 o'clock um, Eastern time. And again, um, the Landstar load board and the mobile apps are password protected. They're only available to our BCOs. We're going to look at Landstar 1 today, and it is a live demonstration, and we're going to look at three different apps. The first one is the Find Fuel app, the second one is the Available Loads app, and then finally the Maximizer app. And I'll show you how all of those help our BCOs uh, keep extra profit in their pocket. And I think you'll see how easy they are to use. So a little bit um, about how Landstar pays before we get to the load board. First of all, we are a percentage pay company. And as I mentioned, um, BCOs, owner operators, we are 100% owner operator. So you do need your own truck when you come on board. If you don't have a truck and you are in the market for one, we do have a few uh, companies that we can recommend you to. We don't have any uh, lease purchase programs at Landstar. We also do not allow you to, um, uh, have your bank or your financial institution take a truck payment out of your settlement. Any arrangements you have on a truck purchase are between you and your financial uh, institution. We do not get involved in that. But we can we can point you towards a few companies that uh, uh, do very well for Landstar BCOs in terms of purchasing a truck. So if you come on board with your truck only, no trailer but just just a truck, you are going to get 65% of the line haul at Landstar. Um, you may see some companies that pro provide a higher percentage, maybe 70%, maybe 72% on a trailer, or a, I'm sorry, a truck only, but be very cautious about that. Landstar is very transparent. Um, when we bill a company, you have uh, access to that invoice. You know what that company is paying Landstar, and so you know what your percentage of that bill is. Some companies will say that they're giving you 70%, but you never see the invoice. So if the invoice is for 2,500 and they're only paying you on 2,300 of it, you're actually not getting anywhere near 70%. So be very, very cautious about that. Landstar is transparent and we're very proud on the way we operate with our BCOs. Um, so in my example here, we will pay 65% for a truck only. So I have a, a, a run that was from Batavia, Illinois to Jefferson, Georgia. It came in at $2,300. That's what the client is paying or the customer is paying Landstar. And that comes out to 307 a mile. So the the customer is paying Landstar 307 a mile to deliver that product from point A to point B. So with the truck only, you're looking at 1495 that goes directly to the owner operator and expressed in rate per mile, that's going to come out to a dollar or actually two dollars, right at two dollars to the owner operator. Now we provide you with trailers if you need. There is no cost for the trailer. There's no rental fee on the trailer and we take care of the maintenance of the trailer. However, if you have your own trailer, you're more than welcome to bring that on board with you. And by doing so, we're gonna bump you up by 7% to 72%. And so in my example here, 2300 at 72% would be 1656 to the owner operator and expressed in the rate per mile you're looking at to the owner operator 221 on this particular example. So I hope that makes sense to everybody. 65% um, truck only, 72% if you bring your own dry van. If you have other types of trailers, um, let me see if I can find, oh, there we go. So a reefer trailer would be 75%. So instead of 72, you'd be at 75 and a flatbed will put you at 73. A step deck will put you at 73%. And then when you get into specialized trailers, you're looking at 74, 75%, depending on what it is. And even some of the heavy specialized might be a little higher than that. 
Um, a hot chat would be with truck and trailer would be 70%. And then our expedited, that would be an expedited truck, a, a, a short truck, you are looking at 62% um, for expedited. All right, so a little bit about our um, apps before we, we uh, switch over to them. First of all, we're gonna look at the Find Fuel app. And uh, that allows you to find fuel discounts throughout North America, the Landstar fuel discounts. It also calculates the state IFTA tax credits. If you're not familiar with how that works, I would suggest that you do a little research on IFTA because depending on where you purchase your, your fuel, what states you've purchased it in, it can actually result in a, a significant credit to you at the end of the quarter or the end of the year. Um, and we help you with that process. It also allows you to save your favorite stops and uh, basically you can plan your fuel purchases along your route. And then we'll look at the available loads app. This is where we'll spend most of our time today. Um, some of the features include swipe to save, uh, click to call, real simple click to call feature, easy to filter searches, which we'll see, and it's all based on proprietary technology at Landstar. And then we'll wrap up today with the Maximizer app. This is a multi-leg planning tool that allows you to search multiple loads and puts them all together in one, um, one easy to uh, read and 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 study um, uh, or organized route through a period of time. You can you can select the period of time. It could be a few days to two weeks out. It also has the click to call uh, and the swipe to save features. Oop, didn't mean to go there first. So I need to switch over to a tablet to demonstrate the. Um, the mobile app. So give me a second here to make a switch um, to our tablet. <clears throat> so just bear with me. It takes a moment to switch over. <clears throat> okay, you should be seeing my tablet now. <clears throat> All right, so what we're gonna look at today is Landstar One. You'll see the little uh, icon for that in the center of my screen here. We're gonna start with Landstar One, and this is the uh, area where we house all of our apps. So you'll see up on top the Find Fuel, the Load Search, and the, the uh, Landstar Maximizer. We're gonna start with the Find Fuel. So I tap on that, and um, I have my, my GPS on, on this tablet, so it's going to automatically go to my current location, which again is in Rockford, Illinois. And you'll see the variety of fuel stations that are available. Um, some of them will have Landstar discounts, not all of them, but some will. And you'll notice that number six, right above the little town of Rockton, Illinois, right at the border, it's green. Whenever you see green, that's going to be the best price. The six means that there's actually six stations all located in the same area. So if I expand on that area, I can see those six stations and I can see that the um, Flying J is going to give me my best price at $1.59. So if I click on that, I get some more info on the, fi the Pilot Flying J, the location of it. I can even um, uh, click for a map function. And it tells me that I'm gonna pay $1.59 ultimately at that uh, station. When I show up at the station, the pump price will show $2.69, but they're offering a Landstar discount of 49 cents. When I um, consider the IFTA tax credit, which I'm not gonna get at the pump today, but ultimately I'll get a credit for, then I'm at $1.59. If I wanna look at just the Landstar discount, I can click off the IFTA, and now I know that today at the pump, I'm gonna pay $2.20. Um, <clears throat> and, and that happens at the pump. It's not a rebate that uh, shows up later, it happens at the pump, so you get it immediately. Um, if I wanna go back to my location, I hit the little target on the right side of the screen there. It's gonna take me right back to Rockford, Illinois. And let's say I'm traveling, um, eh, we'll go southwest a bit. I can just squeeze, squeeze the screen, move on to, let's say we're heading to Kansas City. Maybe I can find a better price between Rockford and Kansas City to purchase my fuel in. 
So let that populate. <clears throat> and actually it looks like Rockford is offering the best price. So, but just for fun, we're gonna click on, oh, there's a $1.61. Now you notice it turned green here because it's the best price within the screen, even though I think the price in Rockford was a little better. But let's click on that one. I don't know what that is. That's an SAC and Fox truck stop. There is no Landstar discount there. They just happen to have a very good price today. Um, go back. Let's look at the Loves over here. Loves is offering a 26 cent discount to Landstar and then the IFTA credit of 17. So just using this one, if I scroll up a little bit, I can save this as a favorite. <clears throat> so I click on favorite. I can also call them if I have any questions. Call them right from the, uh, the your cell phone. So that's our fuel finder. It's really, really, really simple to use. And it'll help you plan uh, your fuel purchase uh, depending on the route uh, you're heading on. And if I want to zoom in on an area, I just tap and it's going to zoom in and then <clears throat> provide me with my pricing. So that is the fuel finder or find fuel app. So now let's go to the highlight of the day. Oop. We're gonna go to um, the available loads app. <clears throat> and I'm already um, I'm already logged in. You, uh, If you haven't been in, you would have to sign in with your password, username and password. And again, we do not provide um, um, access to the load board outside of these webinars. And again, if you have any questions today while I'm going through everything, jot them into the question um, uh, feature on the, the GoToWebinar platform, and I will look at those and try to answer them as I go along. All right, so this is our, our uh, available loads app, and if you look at the very bottom, I'm totally surprised. There are 64,355 results. I think I mentioned that last Friday there were 60. It was either 60 or 62,000. This is remarkable. A year ago, we were at about 40,000. So just an incredible amount of activity available to our BCOs right now. So a few features on here. The first one, if you look up on top in the center, it says saved. So if I click on saved, it's going to show me some of the... Uh, searches that I've done in the past that I saved as a, a search that I want to go back to on a regular basis. Um, I'm just going to show you one of these because I, I want to be sure that we uh, go through the details behind all of this. But this one is a Leaving Fort Worth one that I did. And on the very bottom, there are 313 results um, for Leaving Fort Worth. I'll show you how I got to um, a saved load while we go, or a saved feature like this while we go through the uh, the load board. Um, but I want to start, oops, sorry, I want to start with our actual search. So I'm going to reset and I'm going to go through the different boxes here that are available. So the first one is select pickup. So where am I starting from? And I have choices. <clears throat> um, Anthony, do other companies have access to the load board? Um, only our BCOs. It is a private load board. We do have another load board, our carrier uh, load board that is publicly available, and you can find that at LandstarCarriers.com. Um, you will not find pricing on the Landstar Carrier uh, board. You would call the agent and um, negotiate the price. On our load board, the private load board, you will see pricing, which we will show you in a few minutes. So when I hit the uh, select pickup, I get choices. I can pick a city, I can pick a region, or my current location. Current location, as long as I have my GPS on, is going to, for my example here, would put me in Rockford. <clears throat> if I want to put in a city, so let's say I want to start searching from Chicago, Illinois. I click on that. And the reason that city was pre-populated is because I've looked there before. And then the second item is uh, search radius. So if I leave it at zero, I'm only looking at uh, extreme downtown Chicago. So I want to open it up a little bit. And I'm going to put it up at 100 miles because in the Chicago area, at 100 miles, I'm then looking at Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, and Rockford, Illinois. And so I'm getting a wide variety of uh, opportunities available to me. My next box is the drop-off. Where, where do I want to go to? And again, I have some options. I can do a city. So Atlanta, Georgia, I can do a region. I can do my current location, which would be a, a round trip basically. But I wanna show you the region function and how that works. So I'm gonna put region here. 
So let's say I want to go to the Southwest. So I click on Southwest and you'll see on the right, it says four of four. Well, what are those four states? If I click on it, Southwest is going to include Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. If I don't want one of those states, let's say Arizona, I can click on it and remove it from my search. So now we're only looking at New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. If I'm good with that, I hit confirm on the bottom. And now it tells me I'm looking from Chicago, 100 mile radius, um, and going to those three states. Then the next item is the, the uh, pickup date. When do I want to be on the road? And uh, Shahid, yes, we have fleet owners that uh, have trucks with us. Um, you would be responsible for directing drivers here. Um, but the drivers would also have to meet all of our requirements that our BCOs meet. And uh, I'll give you more info on that in a little bit. So my pickup date, I want to pick up today. I want to be on the road today. But if I choose, let's say I don't want to be on the road to Monday, I can hit the 14th. But we'll leave 11th today on. And let's say I don't care if I'm on the road today, tomorrow, or Monday. Then I can put a date range in here. So we'll put three. I want to look within the next three days to be on the road. So I put a date, date range of three. I can put in a drop-off date, but in general, I don't see a need for this because when the loading opportunities are presented to me, they're going to tell me when that load is, is supposed to be delivered. So I'm going to leave it blank today, but you can put in a drop-off date if you wish. Um, trailer types, very important. What kind of trailer do I have? And you have quite a few options here. Containers, uh, flatbed, step, specialized van. We're going to start with van today. And if you want to know what that includes, just like the previous screen, you just hit um, the arrow. It'll show you that there are 26 different vans, and those are all the vans that it's looking for. Now, if there's one that you know you don't have, you can always remove it from your search. Um, confirm when you're done, and that's the vans that we'll be searching under. Then the next one, minimum rate per mile. So I don't want to look at anything that's going to pay less than $3 a mile. Now keep in mind, this is what the customer is paying Landstar. So at $3 a mile, if you are truck only, then that's going to equate to $1.95 to the BCO. So we'll leave $3 there, and then I can put in a minimum revenue if I wish. So let's say I don't want to see anything that pays less than $1,000. I can put that in if I want. I'm going to leave that blank uh, today, though. Um, if I'm done, I can, I can search, and I have 36 results. I'm actually kind of surprised by that, probably because of the region I'm going to. But I also have the ability for more filters. So if I click on more filters, quite a few things come up. The first one is an agency code. As I mentioned, we have over 1,200 agents that uh, service our BCOs throughout North America. Landstar <clears throat> suggests that you develop relationships with a handful of those agents, so they then begin calling you with opportunities. They see that you're heading to New Mexico, they give you a call, hey, when you're in town, we have something going back your way, you know, and, and they're gonna work with you. So you develop uh, relationships with them. So if you do like working with a specific agent, you can put in their code, um, put it in. Most of them have a three letter code. And then it's only going to look at um, loads from that agent that meet your other requirements up above. I'm gonna leave the agent uh, blank today. Just wanted to show you how that works. And then you also have minimum weight, maximum weight um, uh, filters. The maximum is really good if you if you come on board as a hotshot. Um, typically, you might have a top weight of 17,000 that you can haul. You could put that in, and then you're not going to see anything that weighs more than 17,000 pounds. That's how that would work. Um, looking at more filters, you can do a minimum distance or a maximum distance. You can do origin country. That would be basically just um, US and Canada. I'm going to leave it at none, which means it's going to look at both. Um, same for the destination country. And then preloaded, yes or no. Um, if you leave it at none, it's going to look at both. 
And I'm not, I'm not going to cover everything on the screens here, just the, the biggies. Um, team is another good one. So if you are if you come on board, and we do have lots of teams at Landstar, if you come on board as a team, you're going to select yes. If you are not a team, you'll, se you'll select no. And we'll leave it just open today for our demonstration. And then the next one is very, very important. It's hazmat. So your options are no, I don't want to haul hazmat, or none would actually be yes. And it, uh, by selecting none, it'll look at both hazmat and non-hazmat loads. Landstar does require across the board, all of our BCOs must have hazmat certification. If you are in the application process and you don't have hazmat, you will have to show proof that uh, you are in the process of getting that certification. Um, but once you come on board, you have to have hazmat ready and available. With that stated, if you choose to never haul hazmat, that's your choice. You can do that. Just put no every time you do a search and it won't show you any hazmat loads. So that begs the question then, why does Landstar require hazmat? And it's a very simple answer. We have lots of clients, uh, government agents, agencies, corporations throughout North America that uh, they know if a Landstar uh, BCO shows up at their dock and they have a hazmat load, that they are good to go, they're covered, they have no concerns or questions. So again, it is required. Um, please keep that in mind. If you have it now, wonderful. If you don't have it and you're in the application process, you will have to start that process right away. Okay, other options here are high risk. Um, that would be like, uh, let's say you have a truckload full of flat screen TVs going to Walmart or something. Then um, if you don't wish to do any high risk like that, you would choose no. And uh, you can put in length with height dimensions. Your load type would be less than truckload or truckload. If you put none, it'll look at both. And last one, maximum stops. If you wish to, to uh, make no more than X amount of stops on a trip, you can put that in here. So for example, if you are uh, running windows from Pella to multiple locations around your along your trip you can put you know no more than five stops and you won't see any loads that have six seven eight ten stops along the route so i'm done with my filters I'm good to go i have 35 results available on the bottom um a few things you can do there if that's not enough to look at you can make some changes so i could go up here and maybe open up another region oops i didn't mean to delete that <clears throat> my bad so let's bring the Southwest back. We'll leave Arizona in there. Um, and we'll also add the West. And the West is going to include, we'll take out Alaska, only for today's purposes. Well, we actually, Alaska presents a great opportunity for a lot of our BCOs who might wish to take a extended vacation, take a load up there, get paid for it, take your vacation and come on back home. Okay, so I've added a few more states and now I have 71 results. Still a little low, I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, but I'm gonna hit that. I've got 71 results and it's gonna put them in order from highest revenue to lowest revenue. And I can change those. So up on top, you'll see the revenue bar. I can click on the arrow on the, on the right and I can change it to age. So now it's gonna present to me the newest to the oldest. So this top one from Neighborville to Allen, Texas was posted four minutes ago uh, while we were putting our filters in. The next one is only 11 minutes old. I can also look at Deadhead. Now this is important because uh, <clears throat> I put in a 100 mile radius of Chicago. So this first one has zero Deadhead. But as I go down, then the Deadhead is going to increase. Landstar does not pay for deadhead. So keep that in mind when you are searching and you're putting in a radius. If you put in 100 miles and that load that you really like is 100 miles away, you are responsible for that deadhead. Um, we also can search by rate per mile. This is my preferred method personally. Um, so my first example here is Jul Joliet, Illinois to Denver, Colorado, and it's paying 413 a mile. And so with a truck only to the BCO, that would uh, give to you $2.69 a mile directly to the BCO. 
Um, and you'll see that there's quite a few going to Denver. It's probably the same company um, with multiple runs. So let's click on one of those. All I did was tap on it, and then it shows me the map, basically. And going to Denver, <clears throat> commodity code, this is a hazmat load, and the agency is JDZ, as you'll see uh, halfway down your screen. Line haul is $4,010. and $10. comes out to 413 rate per mile, and again, that's what the client is paying Landstar, and you would take your percentage of that. It requires a 53-foot van, and it's 20,000 pounds. Gives you some route info, the, the miles, and 34 miles of deadhead to reach that uh, pickup. Picks up on the 14th and delivers on the 16th. Um, <clears throat> again, it is hazmat. A good paying load. Um, under the comments, you'll sometimes see things that are very relevant to that particular load. And if you cannot meet those comments, then don't call the agent on them. So, for example, if it says... Uh, lift gate required and you don't have a lift gate, then it makes no sense to call the agent to discuss that load. Now, if I like this load and I'm, I'm interested, I can, number one, I can email a copy of it to me by hitting the email. And now I've sent that to myself. And if I want to uh, talk, to, and you will have to call the agent to book it. So if I'm ready to do that, I just hit the call, um, call feature and then talk to somebody at the J, JDC agent. Um, I'm going to go back here, scroll down, look at uh, some others. Um, Gilman, Illinois to Longview, Texas. I have no idea where Gilman, Illinois is. But going to uh, uh, Longview, and the agency is TAN, and it's Consumer Goods and Appliances, and it's $3,000, line haul. So to the driver, or BCO rather, the truck only, that would be $1,950. Um, 53-foot van, 41,000 pounds. And no unusual notes here. Again, email it to me if I want a copy of it. Easy to do. And then I want to show you something, probably one of the most important features of the load board. So I'm at home. I like this load. I called the TAN agency and I booked it. What am I going to do when I get down to Longview, Texas? You'll see that there's um, under the map, it says 12 loads near drop off. So if I click on that, I can plan what the heck I'm going to do when I get down to Longview. And it's going to base this on what I already put in on my initial filter. So a hundred mile radius. Um, I think we put in a $3 rate per mile or, or higher and um, the trailer type we put in. So it's gonna base everything on that. So my choice is leaving within 100 miles of Longview, uh, first of all, Shreveport, up to Gansevoort, New York, or I can go to Pennsylvania or Florida, Mississippi, Tennessee, on and on. Um, I'm gonna pick Jackson, Tennessee. This has been on the board for 40 minutes, it said. And it looks like it has a few drop-offs, actually. You can see that in the map with the little red dots. Um, it pays 1,085, 327 uh, rate per mile. You'll also see an accessorials under the revenue of $290. And I think I have a question kind of related to this, a sur surcharge from James. Um, um, so accessorials are, what you are being paid for, for other items. So in this example, it's probably drop off. They're, they're um, uh, paying you, it'll probably say in the bottom, uh, it does not. But there's multiple stops here, so they're paying you for those stops. The 290 is paid to you at 100%, not at 62% or 65% or 70%, it's 100%. Landstar also pays 100% um, on the fuel surcharge. So if you don't see the fuel surcharge broken out on a, uh, a loading opportunity, I would ask the agent, hey, what is the fuel surcharge? Because I want to know what that is, and I want it broken out for me because I want to make sure I get paid 100% on that fuel surcharge. So when we say that your um, uh, percentage is 65%, it's on the line haul. 
but then when you add the fuel surcharge at 100%, it actually brings your, your percentage up a little higher than 65%. Um, if I'm happy with this load, again, I can hit the email copy to me. I can call the JIS agency and book it. You'll notice under comments, good example here, you will need eight uh, two-inch ratchet straps. If you don't have them, don't call on the load. It wouldn't make any sense because they're going to tell you, sorry, um, not available. But then under the, so now I've gone from um, Chicago to Texas, and then within 100 miles of my drop off in Texas, and I'm at now in Shreveport, I'm going back to Jackson, Tennessee, and you'll notice that there's 125 loads near that drop off. So if I click on that, I've got all kinds of opportunities. And um, the first ones here are all going northeast. Got one down to Florida, lots and lots going to New York. But ideally, what I'd like to do is perhaps find something that brings me back home. But if not, uh, maybe I can go to Pennsylvania and then work my way home from Pennsylvania. So I saw one here for PA. So let's click on this one Memphis, Tennessee to Woodland, Pennsylvania. There's my map. Uh, this is consumer goods and appliances, and again, this is all based on my initial um, three dollars rate per mile, the the trailer type I put in, and everything else. And it's also basing it on when I'm going to arrive in the um, Tennessee area. So it won't show me loads that are available before my arrival, only ones that are available after my arrival there. So I think you can see, based on this, you can pre-plan, and you haven't even left your house yet. And you're pre-planning your entire week, seven days, 10 days out on the road. Very simple and very easy. Um, this is a consumer goods and appliances. It's a uh, 25,000 pound van load. Nothing unusual about it. Um, they say that they have many loads like this available. And nothing unusual in terms of equipment needs. So if I'm interested, I would call HPA agency and, and uh, ask any questions I might have and then book that. And you'll, un you'll see under accessorials, it says zero. So they haven't broken out the fuel surcharge. So I would want to know what that is before booking the load. But then I have 46 loads available in Pennsylvania near that uh, drop off. So if I click on that, can I find something that brings me back home? That's um, ultimately what I'm trying to do. And I always tell everybody these live load boards, they are live. And today is a good example where I'm not finding any, anything that's going to bring me right back to Illinois. Um, typically, I can. It's not difficult to do. But today, the best it looks like I'm going to do is Ohio. Um, so at least I can start making my way back home. So we'll click on this one, go into Ohio. And these are building materials. Um, Nothing unusual about it, but I have 45 loads near that drop off. So maybe now I can find something back to Illinois. But today, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But I think you can see how easy that is. So here's one going to Portage, Michigan, and it's paying a heck of a good rate. So at least I'm getting close to home now. And this is um, consumer goods and appliances, 447 rate per mile. And again, that's what the client is paying or the customer is paying Landstar. And then you would take your percentage of that. And nothing unusual about this particular load. It's 35,000 pounds. I have 29 loads near the drop off. And can I get home from that area back to Ohio, or I'm sorry, back to Illinois. And there's one to normal Illinois, not too far away from Rockford. So a little south of me, but not too bad. So I've managed from my home, haven't left the house to put a whole plan together and from point A to B, C, D, and then home. So very, very simple. 25 loads near uh, normal Illinois. And uh, quite possible that I'll get one that takes me right to my back door. So I hope that shows you how simple and easy the load board is to use. Now I want to show you a few other features of it. Let me see if I have any questions here first, though. Um, 
Can we negotiate the rate per mile on the load board? Uh, Chance, thank you for the question. Good question. Um, in general, in general, the the rates that you see on the load board are are uh, stated as the rates that you're going to get. You can nobody's going to say that you can't negotiate. Um, some of the things that are easier to negotiate are tolls, um, fees for stop over for stops. Um, fuel surcharge, you know, make sure that it's in there properly, um, anything like that. You can always try. Nobody's going to say, no, you can't negotiate. Um, but usually, typically, the fees that you see are uh, set on the load board. Um, so the answer is yes and no, I guess. And all right. So I want to show you a few other features. And I'll get to, Shan, I'll get to your question in a little bit. Um, Give me a second here. All right, so I hit the reset search because I wanna make sure I'm starting fresh with uh, nothing saved from my previous one. So I'm gonna show you a few cool things you can do on a load board. So first of all, my select pickup, I'm gonna put in my city. Um, I'm just gonna hit my current location. So it'll come up basically Rockford, Illinois. It won't show Rockford there, it just says current location. And I'm going to do a radius of, we'll do 50 miles. I'm not going to put in a drop off. I'll put in a pickup date of today. I'll put in a range of, we'll say three days again. I'm not going to put a drop off. I'm going to list my trailer type. So we'll just say van for our, our experiment or uh, experience here. And I'll put in a minimum rate per mile of four. Which if I have a truck only, would be 260 to the owner operator. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about any of the filters. I have 69 results. So what, excuse me, what this is telling me is, hey, I'm sitting here in Rockford, where are the loads going to? Um, I've got Pennsylvania, so rather than picking a direct uh, location to go to, I can say, hey, wh where are the really, really good loads going? So I've got Pennsylvania, uh, Virginia, Kansas, Maryland, and all of these are going to be four dollars or more rate per mile. Um, <clears throat> just a simple, easy, quick way of saying, "Hey, what are the really good loads, and where are they going?" So, if this first one I'm interested in, I click on it, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Um, <clears throat> it's packaging materials. It's paying four hundred three to the owner op or to the owner operator. I think I said that was two something comes out to 262 in this case. And um, <clears throat> it says foodstuffs. I don't know why they have it under consumer goods and apply. No, they have it under packaging materials. Um, <clears throat> nothing unusual about it though. There are 12 loads at the drop off. And again, these are gonna show up at $4 a mile or more. So these first two are probably dedicated or round trip, Hazleton back to Hazleton. So I'm not gonna look at those right now. Uh, most of these are going further east. Uh, here's one going to Maryland at 558. Wow. Consumer goods and appliances also. Um, 149 miles, not very far. Trailer must have two vertical e-track, two foot vertical e-track. So that's a good example of um, a comment that you have to make sure you you are good for. And then a fuel surcharge, it says in the bottom 3150. So they're paying you 3150 on fuel surcharge. They don't have it listed under accessorials. So just make sure that it gets in there when you when you uh, book the load with them. There are five loads in your drop off. And again, those five loads are gonna be $4 or more per mile and these are all going further east so if i'm interested great if not um, i can lower my rate per mile and see if there's something that's going back home uh, that's one way of doing that um, another thing i want to show you <clears throat> all right um do a reset here so I'm gonna leave the pickup blank and I'm gonna put the drop off as my current location. 
So this is going to tell me, hey, where are the loads that are coming to Rockford? Where are they coming from? And it's it's a good way to do um, some research to find out, well, hey, it looks like maybe Laredo is a top market for us or um, <clears throat> Minneapolis. I mean, who knows? So I'm going to put in my trailer type of van again. Oop. Van. And I'll put in a minimum rate per mile of... Yeah, I don't know, we'll put 375 this time. Okay, and we'll do 262 results. So you know what, let's put um, let's put that back at four. See what we get. It still says 231 results. So these are our loads that are coming from anywhere going to my area, to the Rockford, Illinois area. So the first ones are coming from California, um, excellent rate per miles, um, <clears throat> Utah, Ohio, Texas, Virginia. So it's kind of what, what I call a reverse method of planning your uh, available routes at uh, Landstar. Now we are self-dispatched, so you use the load board to find your um, uh, loading opportunities. We're not gonna sit here and tell you where you have to go, when you have to go. That's up to you as a, as a business owner. We're not going to get involved in that. So you make the decisions, and that's one of the, the coolest features of Landstar is you are independent, uh, lots of freedom. We're not on your case saying, hey, how come you're not bringing that hazmat load from Muscatine to Chicago? You know, we don't, we don't, we don't do that, uh, <clears throat> not uh, the way we handle or work with our BCOs. Um, I have a question here from, I hope I'm saying it right, Sean. Um, can I search for reefer loads and step deck? I would be glad to do that. Let me get back to my main screen here, do a reset. And um, I'm going to leave the pickup and the drop off blank and it'll show us everything. And we'll put in a pickup date of today. And just this is what I call a dirty search. I'm just going to put in very few things. And I will do, um, you said step deck, we'll do step deck first. And I have hey, 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 2,670 results. So we'll put in a rate per mile of 375. That gives me 394 results. Click on those. And so these are loads anywhere. Um, starting from anywhere, going anywhere, that are on a step deck that have a, a 375 or greater rate per mile. So you can see Minnesota to Colorado, uh, Connecticut to Fairbanks. Let's look at that just for fun, because I want to show you uh, a lot of our BCOs will intentionally take a load up to Alaska just so they can take a vacation, uh, a very scenic vacation. So this is machinery. It's paying $530, $23,000. So with a, a flat bed, chances are pretty good you would have your own. And so this is going to pay you 73% with trailer, oops, which comes out to the BCO $16,790. So you get up there, take a few weeks, um, take some time off, enjoy, and you've made, you've made money and they paid for your vacation. Now you'll notice the negative to going up to Alaska is how many loads are available at the drop-off? Zero. Now we oftentimes have great opportunities leaving, but you're not gonna find a whole lot of them leaving Alaska. Um, but it does make an excellent opportunity for people to travel on a vacation of a lifetime if they wish to. Um, we have other ones going to, actually quite a bit going to Alaska. Um, Florida, Missouri, California, on and on. So that's what I would call a dirty search, just really quick. Hey, what's going on? Now you also asked about reefer. So we'll look there. And again, um, I'm not listing a whole lot of stuff here. I get 471 results just on reefer at 375. <clears throat> I've got Texas to Ontario, um, to New York, lots coming from Texas some from California, some from uh, Wisconsin, <clears throat> all paying pretty decent rate per miles. Uh, try not to scroll too fast so you can see some of those. 
Um, I'm going to answer a few questions here, and then I'm going to go over to the maximizer briefly, and then we'll come back and, and do some more um, searches on the available loads board for anybody who wants a particular search. But some of the questions I have, um, what if I what if I break down and need to get my load repowered? And that comes from Anthony. Um, Anthony, we have 24 hour uh, round the clock, 365 days a year, right here in Rockford, Illinois, our customer, our BCO care center. You have a problem on the road, no matter what time of the day, we are here to help you and to take care of you. Uh, we'll make sure that you get the emergency road assistance you need. We'll get it repowered, whatever needs to be done, we will take care of it, we will help you. Um, that's what we're here for. I hope that answers your question. And okay, um, I'm gonna run over to, I've got a switch screen. Oh no, I'm sorry, no I don't. I'm gonna do the, the uh, maximizer really quick here. Show you what that's all about. <clears throat> it's also a part of Landstar, our Landstar One platform. So clicking on Landstar Maximizer, this is kind of cool. I'm having a little problem with the Maximizer on my tablet. Um, sometimes it won't show a map, and we'll see in a minute if it's gonna work or not today. Um, I'm starting from Rockford and it's a round trip. So what the Maximizer does is it allows you to pre-plan um, a number of days out and you pick the days. So it could be four days on the road, seven days, 10 days, whatever. And it's going to search all of the loads available on the load board put them together in a route that makes the highest amount of revenue possible for you. Um, if you're new to Landstar, it's an excellent, excellent way, excellent tool to get you up and running and learn how Landstar works. So Rockford, if I wanna start in Rockford and return to Rockford, I leave it as is. If I don't want to make it a round trip, I can click no round trip and then put in another city. And these cities here are ones that I've researched in the past. I can type in any city and add to it. So if I want to put in Atlanta, I can do that. <clears throat> um, but in this case, I want to do, I actually do want to do a round trip. I want to start in Rockford and I want to return to Rockford. I want to be on the road um, 1211. And it's, it's giving me 10 days on the road. That's fine. I'll leave it at 1222. In this example, I'm a van and um, I'm not a team. And I'm avoiding regions. I'm avoiding Canada, basically, on this particular one. So if there's, if there's an area I don't want to travel to, I can just click it and it'll remove it from the search. Um, we'll, leave, we'll leave all but Canada there. I hit done. And then I go to the bottom and I ask Max. So Max is gonna analyze all the loads available on the load board and say, hey, here's a 10 day run that'll make you a terrific amount of revenue. And, and yeah, my maps are not working today on my tablet. I don't know why. Um, but on the top portion here, it looked at 4,075 loads. Um, it generated 222 available routes for me. So that's what we're gonna see below here. And my maximum revenue is 15,230 and um, coming out to 494. And so then as I scroll through here, I can see the different um, routes that it put. And this is where the map feature comes in really good because you can see the map and it'll show you where it's going to. But in my case today, that's not going to work and it's only on this tablet, I don't know why. But I clicked on that first one and I start in Woodridge, which is a Chicago suburb. And I end up in Summit, Illinois, which is also a suburb. So my first run is from, well, let's start up on top first, though. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. My first one is from Woodridge, Woodridge to Summit. It's paying 700 bucks for 21 miles. This is weird. I've never seen one pull up um, with with so few miles in the maximizer. And then my second run is going to pick up in Coke. Kokomo, Indiana, and go to San Diego, California at 6,050 bucks. And then from California, I'm picking up in Bell, California, and coming back to Carroll Stream, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago. And then I'm done. And that one is paying 8480. And so my route summary, my revenue is 15,230, comes out to 1384 a day, 331 for all miles. That includes deadhead on it. And then my distance is 4604. 
and it takes 11 days and it's only three loads. Um, that's how the maximizer works. Very quick, simple, easy, um, especially for somebody who's brand new at Landstar. So let's go back to the main load board, available loads. And what time, 10, okay, we're at, we're at the end of the hour. Um, I can stay around a little bit longer and do some personal searches for folks, but before I do that, I want to wrap up for anybody that has to leave at the top of the hour. So give me a second to switch back to my, um, my uh, desktop here. And the maximizer, this is the type of map you should be seeing. And for whatever reason, it's not appearing on my tablet today. So for those of you that uh, are uh, do need to go, just a few steps for you. If you uh, wish to continue uh, uh, applying at Landstar, you will have to apply online at some point. And you can find our application at lease2landstar.com, lease2landstar.com. Call us anytime, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central, 800-435-4010. And when you hang up, uh, you will get a brief survey on your screen. Please, please, please fill that out for us. It helps us do a better job. And we certainly hope to see you hauling for Landstar in the near future. And if you are leaving at the uh, top of the hour, I thank you for joining me today been a pleasure showing you the different apps. If you wish to hang around for a little bit, I will um, go back to the load board and do a few more runs. And um, let me switch back to that screen. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, we're back. All right, and let me see what questions I have before we do some more load searches here. Um, can we run flatbed or van? Um, yes, <laughs> we're gonna base it on experience. So if you have no flatbed experience, and this comes from Gregory, thank you, Gregory. If you don't have any flatbed experience, but you have van experience, you would start at Landstar with van. We actually have a program down in, uh, Fort Worth, Texas said, if you want to move from van to flat or step, um, you you go through this uh, class and we'll, we'll help you move up to flatbed. Um, but when you come on board, it'll be based on your experience. Um, does it calculate, this is from Anthony, uh, does it calculate your hours of service, the, the apps? No, it does not. Landstar offers plate and insurance. Let me see if I can find my specific details on that for you. Um, plates um, are 1700 and it's 94.44 a week for 18 weeks coming out of your settlement and we start that on week five. And let's see, insurance. Um, one of the handouts available to you is on insurance. That gets into a pretty deep uh, discussion. So just make sure you download that. And if you can't, uh, let me know and I'll send it to you. But um, um, there are several different types of insurance that you need to be aware of and what we do and what we do not provide. Um, Okay, so I've got a question here. Um, loads from Louisiana to the Midwest. All right, from Johnny, let me take a look at that for you. <clears throat> so our pickup is going to be Louisiana. And um, so I'm going to use I'm going to use region. And this is where I get a little sticky because I'm not sure where they where they stuck Louisiana. Ah, I lucked out. So in this case, I'm going to do. I can also type in the state Louisiana, but I'm going to do it this way. So we're starting in Louisiana, and my drop off. You said Midwest, I believe. So we'll just put in uh, region Midwest. And I'm assuming you need. Oh yeah, on vans. Yep. Okay. So we'll put in van. Thank you. And I'm not going to put anything else there. We'll just see. I have 185 results. So we'll do um, our search on the 185. 
And again, these are going to be in order from revenue, highest revenue to lowest. Um, I prefer just my own preference is to search by rate per mile. So it's going to put it in highest rate per mile to lowest rate per mile. So I've got the first one going to Greenville, Illinois, and then to Ohio, Ohio, Indiana, Indiana, Kansas City. And um, as I scroll down here, you'll see that the rate per mile goes uh, lower and lower. We start at a high of 369, 334, 334, 328, et cetera. Um, let's take a look at the one to Greenville. No idea where Greenville, Illinois is. Looks like Southern Illinois. And it is plastics and rubber, and it pays 2,500. Uh, that's what the customer is paying Landstar. So to the van, no trailer, so truck only, it would be $1,625. There are uh, $48 in accessorials and 690 miles. Um, did I, oh, plastics and rubber, I already said that. Uh, do, 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 do. Lots of comments on this one. Um, So again, I would review all those those comments and make sure that uh, you meet everything um, and email it to yourself if you want a copy of it and then call the agent and book it. What I noticed up here is there are 54 loads available at the drop off. So I click on those and see all my different opportunities. And again, these are gonna go anywhere from uh, Il Southern Illinois to um all over the u.s because we didn't have any cities located there so we got edwardsville to south carol let's just click on that for fun there's my map uh building materials 22 27 103 dollars in accessorials probably the fuel surcharge and nothing unusual on comments there are 14 loads near the drop off Will any of them start to bring me back to Louisiana? Um, I can get to Ohio, at least start heading back, but nothing directly to Louisiana on this particular search. Yeah, that's taking me quite a bit north. But anyway, that I think that gives you a good idea of uh, from Louisiana. Um, Let's see. All right. Um, I have one other question on on the uh, maximizer um, from Fontana, California. I'll do that really quick. Oops. So we're going to go back into the maximizer and we're going to put our um, origin as Fontana, California. All right, and it's gonna automatically put in uh, 10 days. Van, ask Max, and I've deleted, just because I already have it in there, it's not looking at uh, Canada in this particular example. And again, my maps are not showing up. I apologize on that. 4,071 loads analyzed. There are 211 routes that were generated. The maximum is 16,587. Um, the first one, we'll click on that. It's going to start in Nevada and end up in New York. So you got a little bit of deadhead on that one. Um, 2,600 miles. $8,400, so to the BCO, you're looking at fifty-four sixty on that first run. And then from the New York area, now it's got you in Albertus, Pennsylvania, going back to California, um, 6,637. 6, the rate per mile isn't as good as the other one, but it averages out when you put it all together. And then it has you going from LA back to Vegas, and then, uh, and that's the final the final uh, portion. I'm not sure how far Fontana is from Las Vegas, but your overall summary is pretty darn good, 1658 per day. So I hope that helped you out, Sergio. And um, with that, I'm going to call an end to our live load board here today. I'm going to switch back 
to the desktop here and I'll show you that video on the way out. And remember, make sure to fill out that uh, survey on your way out today. I do appreciate all of you joining me today. Um, if you'd like to stick around, I'll play that video one more time. And outside of that, have a great day. Safe travels to one and all. If you have any questions, give us a call at 800-435-4010, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks for joining me again. I really appreciate it. And uh, happy holidays to one and all. Take care. Bye.